Here in Oshun State, families living in a block of six flats in Omega, the community, Ogolua area of Oshubo, which were engulfed by fires the evening, have been left devastated. During a visit to the area today, WSTV News saw that the inferno destroyed property worth millions of naira, with some left homeless. Olalekon Akindoju completes the story. Hours after a fire raised top floors of a block of six flats in Omigade community, Ogolua area of Oshobo, people in the area gathered in shock at the level of destruction. One of the victims says he and his family have been left with nothing. That is something that has happened, and now they have decided to call my wife to confirm the something that happened. My wife just picked the call and they cannot say anything. She cannot say anything. But I'm hearing the voice. There and there that uh, Invano, 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 fire, 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 helping to call the fire somebody, but uh, where? The, the whole building was been burned down. Even the wall had been fallen down too. All our property, the something, the document, the uh, credential was being on the fire. So we can a penny like this, you cannot see to carry out out of the something. So I was so sad. My, My family, family too now. now. We, we don't have anywhere to go. go. The fire started at the point of the back of this building. Fortunately, uh, the, the, the processing comes to the front and come along this line and come the other, along the other line of the building. Are you getting involved? All the community was coming out. So even about three or four people was injured, among, uh, which I was among of them. The fire outbreak occurred at about 6 p.m. yesterday, but the damage was prevented from extending to the remaining four flats in the building through the help of fire officials and residents. Oshun State Fire Service Director Olubumi Oyelami linked the cause of the inferno to a power surge. You know the IBTs destroyed the, uh, the, 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 the light suddenly. So from the uh, backyard, the fire started from there to the main building. For the representative of the family who owns the building, Adewu Yadeninka, the incident is devastating as he called on the state government for help. Of course, I'm devastated. I mean, I'm devastated. Uh, as you can see, is uh, something that's very obvious, the extent of damage here. In such that, that uh, especially at this critical moment uh, in the economy of the country, it's something one will actually desire to support from a government to probably kind of assuage and probably uh, kind of uh, salvage the situation to some extent. It's beyond uh, what one singular person, or of course, can say, I will just face again. Uh, but also, when you look at it, that uh, the building was basically taking care of um, the responsibilities uh, our late father left. I mean, there are widows to cater for. There are still younger children in the family that needs uh, support. So During a visit to the area today, Special Assistant to the Governor on Emergency Management, Apostola Bolarinwa, revealed plans by the Minister of Works to totally remove the top floors of the building. He, he also, also said the state government, government will examine ways to support the victims. But I am assuring the people here that uh, we have uh, an able governor, a merciful governor, that will not leave them alone. The assistant has begun very soon. The Minister of Works will bring the evacuator to demolish the topmost. And we have given the approval from the donors of the building. As at the time of our visit to the building, occupants of the remaining four flats were seen moving out of their property to allow for proper structural checks. On Lale Western Spring Television News.